Academy by Vasim. So we are going to talk about types of plant layouts in this video and topics we are going to discuss is basically plant layouts and its types, advantages and disadvantages of layouts and relation between the product variety and volume. Well this video generally focuses that diff how many types of plant layouts are there in a service industry or a manufacturing industry. So there are basically mainly four types of plant layout. The first one is the product or line layout. The second one is the process or functional layout. Then the fixed position or location layout, combine or group layout. We will discuss this each layout one by one in this video. So kindly stay tuned and subscribe my channel. The first one is the product or line layout. Machines and in which the machines and equipments are arranged in one line depending upon the sequence of operation required for the product. This basically explains that a layout consists of a line in which machines are placed in a proper sequence and products are moved from one machine to another machine sequentially without any backtracking or deviation. Then the therefore the materials are fed into the machine, first machine and finished could travel automatically from machine to machine. The raw materials move from very fast from one workstation to other workstation with a minimum work in progress. This is one of the advantages of product online layout that the WIP is very low and material handling is easy. This type of layout generally used in automotive sectors for assembling the product. And you can see the example of the product layout in which you can see the materials and components are receiving and staging in a pink color, one, two, three, four workstations. Then there is an assembly operation, assembly or feeder line, in which the you can also see the storage. Then there is another operation, six to eight oven, nine ten eleven to storage and shipping operations. So you can see the product flows very is very linear or sequential. Now this is the best best example of product online layout. Advantages and disadvantages of the product online layout. The first one is the low cost of material handling due to straight and short route and absence of backtracking because the layout is very linear and in sequence order. So there is no backtracking obviously and the material handling is reduced as we already know the flow of material will be linear. The second one is the smooth and continuous operation. The third one is the continuous flow of work obviously when we have a straight line in which product will move linearly so they are so the operations are obviously continuous and flow of work is more smooth. And due to the lower complexity of the layout the inventory is less and there is also less work in progress. Okay so optimum use of floor space and simple and effective inspection of work and simplified production control this means when you have a simple layout so your inspection gets easier and your production control becomes more simplified as your layout is more simple and more linear and there th and there is less complexity in it and it also uses an optimum space of floor because your layout is not co that complex and you have a linear line in which you can perform your operations then you have a disadvantages of the layout which is the higher initial capital investment in special purpose machine there are generally two types of machine a special purpose machine which is used for special operations and there is, and there is in general purpose machines if i will if i give you example of these two special purpose and general purpose machine for example uh, you have a stitching line in which there are different machines for basic operations for example for uh, joining the two fabric together which is overlock machine which is very common operation and common machine and there, there is an card button machine which is only used to attach buttons or to perform a special operation on the garment so this is your special purpose machine then we have an high overhead charges one of the major disadvantage of this line layout is basically a bottleneck operation or a breakdown of one machine that can cause the whole production process if any of your machine in between or in start of the line gets disturbed the whole production gets disturbed because if the if the previous machine is not feeding the parts to the next machine the whole line will get disturbed or gets breakdown needs a more physical resources perform the operation example if you are manufacturing a garment you need to define your layout on the basis of the processes are required in it so i will give you an example of it later so machines of similar type are arranged together at one place. There is an also an example written here. Machines that are performing drilling operations are arranged in the drilling department. Machines performing casting operations should be grouped in the casting department. So you see we are defining a layout here on the basis of the 
processes that are performed that are required in the product so machines are also installed in the plants according to various processes in the factory layout uh, the work has to be allocated to each department in such a way that no machines are chosen to do many different job as possible and that is emphasis is on general purpose machine the special purpose machine should not be there the more focus is on general purpose machine here you can see an example of the process layout i will give you a uh, example of a service department because the process or job shop layout are majorly used in the service industries for example we can see any hospital where you can see there is an x-ray department there is a cardiology department there is an icu so the layout is based on the basis of their processes for example room one room one is the painting department here in which the painting operation is performed the painting machines are placed there the second one is the assembly department where you will assemble your product the third one is the machine stop the machine shop department in which the machining will be performed there the fourth one is the testing department in which the product will be tested and the shipment and so on shipping department and receiving department here you can also see an example of service oriented industries like banks and hospitals for example uh, there is an parking area there is our hospital wards there is casualty and inpatient department business offices Dr. Lawrence, so you see, layout is designed on the basis of the processes performed in an industry. So, this is very different as compared to product layout, in which the layout was defined on the operations performed on the product. The focus was on the product. We are making a refrigerator. So, we made a refrigerator line in which all the operations of the refrigerator performed in one line. Here, we are going to define a layout on the basis of the processes. Here are the advantages and disadvantages of the process layouts. The first one is the lower initial capital investment is required. And you can observe here, the this was the disadvantage in the product layout. So, they are also reciprocal to each other. The one, the advantages of the product layout is now the disadvantages of the process layout. The disadvantage of the product layout is now the advantage of the process layout. You see, there is a high degree of machine utilization as a machine is not blocked for a single product. This was the disadvantages of the product layout in which the one machine gets broken, the whole line gets disturbed. Now this is the advantages of process layout. You don't have to stop your production for just one machine. We have, uh, we have more machines for performing that operation. For example, in drilling department, there is in 5 or 10 drilling machines that are performing drilling operation on a product. So if one machine gets breakdown, we have another we have another nine machines to perform our process so our production does not get hurt then we have the overhead costs are relatively low the breakdown of one machine does not disturb the production process so supervision can be more effective and specialized yes you can hire specialized people for one department for example uh, casting department we have a casting master for example we have uh, for stitching section we have a stitching master we for cutting section we have a cutting master so you can uh, you you can assign you can hire specialized people for specialized processes greater flexibility of resources obviously if you have each section separately performing its work that is more flexible but we also have disadvantages the material handling costs are high due to back cracking now you see the product can be back cracked from one position to another position because if the drilling is going to be performed before casting and casting department is placed before the drilling department so now the first drilling will be done then it will get back to the casting department for a casting operation you see now more highly skilled is highly skilled labor is required for resulting in higher cost obviously you need specialized people to perform special operations then work in process inventory is high and needing greater yes the greater storage space is required because we need higher inventories to perform our operations more frequent inspection is needed obviously if we are going to store our products we need to regularly check it that also increases our waste our storage utilization is also gets reduced a fixed position and location layout in which the fixed position layout involves the movement of manpower and machines now we are moving resources to the product in the previous two cases in the pre in the product or process layout we were moving our product to the machines or manpower now in this case we are moving our resources to the product 
it is because the product is very heavy in size or huge in size for example if we are manufacturing a ship or an aeroplane we need to move our resources to it so in this case the movement of man and machine is more advisable than the moving the product itself as the cost of moving the resources would be lesser as compared to the product this type of layout is basically preferred when the size of the job is bulky and heavy as i already told you the manufacturing of ships boilers generators wagons buildings aircraft manufacturing is a far more difficult job so we can move it we have to move our resources to it you can see the example of a uh, layout of aircraft manufacturing in which uh, the workers and machines are moving to, to the product itself we can also see the layout of a shipbuilding manufacturing in which the sh product is fixed and we are moving our supplies to it there are also an advantages and disadvantages of this type of products you can see the in investment on layout is very small we don't have to obviously assign we don't have to uh, design a layout for it we just have to move our resources to it the layout is very flexible as change in job design and operation sequence can be easily incorporated we can also change our sequence of operation it does not matter we just have to move our resources to it adjustments can be made to meet store shortage of material or absence of workers by changing the sequence of operation yes we can adjust it if uh, the person who is going to perform drilling operations is absent we can use a person who is going to perform another operation to it then they then there are many disadvantages of this production as the production period being very long so the capital investment is very high obviously uh, very large space is required for the storage of material and equipment near the product we need a very large space is required for the storage of materials and equipment near the product because we are manufacturing a large and bulkier product we need large space to manufacture a product as we have to incorporate our machines uh, to it and obviously our manpower to it as several operations are often carried out simultaneously so there is also a possibility of confusion and conflict among the worker different worker groups obviously this is also an issue the next one is the combine or group layout in manufacturing a combination of both product and process layout is basically known as combine or group layout there the, uh, therefore advantages of both possible and where items are made in different sizes and types obviously when you are making a product which involves both the layouts for example product layout and process layout so machinery are arranged in process layout and operations are performed in a sequence to manufacture different products this is an example of combined or group layout generally product and process layouts or other combination are found in practice for example industries involving the fabrication of parts and assembly fabrications tend to imply to process layout in which we are going to perform our fabrication processes but then we have to assemble our product so we will follow the terminologies of the product layout in soap manufacturing plants the machinery manufacturing soap is arranged on the product line principle but services such as heating the manufacturing of glycerin the power house the water treatment plant are arranged on a functional basis or on the basis of the process layout here you can see an example of the combined layout in which the product is assembled on the basis of the product layout but for each section the operations are performed on the basis of process layout advantages and disadvantages of the combined layout this is a basically the combination of both product and process layout you can refer to the advantages and disadvantages of those both uh, to get an idea about this then we have a relation between the product variety and volume this graph generally represents the ratio the relation between the production volume and product variety the greater the production volume the lesser will be the variety you can see on the y axis there is production volume and you can see on the x axis there is product variety okay in this graph you will see the process layout this the variety is very low and the production volume is also low for the group layout the variety increases and the volume is also increases and for the product volume the variety is less but the volume is very high so you will choose the product layout obviously so thank you for watching watch academy and kindly subscribe to the channel for more updates